Hey all, thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're making the White Ranger White Tiger Sword, aka Saba, designed by me, Mr. Campbell Prince. I've made the previous Power Ranger weapons, check the links, but I thought I had to make the White Ranger, it's such an iconic weapon. So the print settings, I use 0.16mm layer height, 50% infill, yes I use supports and a two layer wall, which isn't too bad. In terms of filament used for white PLA, I use 397 grams, 7 grams for black, 154 grams for gold, 0.7 grams for red and 196 grams for the silver slash gray in terms of time to actually print this it actually didn't take too long it did a total of 23 hours and 36 minutes to print these parts now with all that being said and done let's get on to support removal Now, removing the supports are pretty self-explanatory. You move it, print it off, and take it off. Um, but this piece here for the helmet of Saba is the wrong piece. Um, I was, well, I designed it to be split down the model, but for every reason, I printed a non-split version, and I don't realize as I'm doing this, I completely forgot about it. So yeah, later in the video, you will see me try to put it together, and it just doesn't work. But rest assured, when you download it, so you can download it from my Colts page, my Fangs page, my Patreon. And if you don't have a 3D printer, check out the Etsy store. Links will be in the description below, where you can can download this and all the other Mr. Campbell Prince products. Um, but yeah, when you do download it yourself, you will have the split version. And talking about split version, um, yeah, I've been asked to request this model for ages. Um, since I've done the Power Ranger series, I got someone gonna make the White Ranger sword, and I was like, yep, I'm planning to design it. It just took a bit longer and a bit while. One, because this is well, I, I know why I said the Green Ranger dagger was my favorite weapon and the Green Ranger was, but I'll be honest, this is probably my favorite Power Ranger weapon of all. Not my favorite Ranger, but definitely the most iconic Power Ranger weapon um, when I've come to think of it. Um, and yeah, it came out really wonderful. I'm not sponsored by Overture, but I did use Overture filament for all the parts of these prints. Um, I've used these in many of my other videos. You may have seen them before, but yeah, it came out absolutely amazing. Um, in terms of design process, it was a bit complicated as it always is to find a scale because watching a TV show, watching, looking at comics, looking at different clips, just different sizes. Um, but yeah, this one came out fine. Um, just inserting the eyes, it's simply glue and place them in. It's not complicated. But when it actually comes to the helmet piece, as you see in a second, it didn't fit. Um, and this is when I realized it in about five seconds time, where I tried to put it on and I'm like, oh yeah, there's no to fit in, it doesn't fit. Um, I even tried to stick the bottom bit, but that doesn't work. And I realized, yeah, I printed the wrong piece. So later on, you'll see me attach it near the end of the video. Um, but with all that said and done, I'll leave you for a moment and I'll let you watch the rest in some peace. Now, the reason I chose to do a split model was simply, if you've got a smaller printer, you can print it out. That is the only reason why. Um, and yeah, just made more sense because I do print a lot of large models and this is quite a large model. So I thought it makes more sense to just split it up so you can do it in different pieces. Obviously, if you've got a massive printer, you can print this in a multi-material print and then you can do all of that. I don't know how much that would use, but yeah, you have that option there as well. I wanna say, Big thank you to each and every one of you of course to getting 6,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Everyone in the comments, everyone who likes, shares the video, watches it, whatever it is, says my name in, in the ether, check, follows me on Instagram. Oh yeah, also, please follow me on Instagram, people. If I can get 6,000 followers over there, that would be great as well. So everyone watching this video, follow me over on Instagram. Um, yes, yeah, at Mr. Campbell Prince. But yeah, this has been an amazing journey. With this bit now, the claws, I off centered them. So there's an off center bit of the claw, which goes with the off center bit of the ring. You'll notice it once you place together. So don't just, once you place it in, you might think, oh, it's not centered. If you just turn it around the other way, you'll see it's directly centered. And I did that on purpose just so 
because I realised what if you put something banging something and it's in a circle you might accidentally twist it it's, I made it in all this time but anyway yeah back to you guys thank you so much for the support it means a lot like I said I'm almost hitting 6,000 subscribers getting close to 10 million I know it sounds crazy but hey you gotta dream big and do big things eh um, now this bit here this guard or I guess decorative pattern on the sword goes in either way but when it comes to sticking these this white um hilt or sheath i don't know, don't know what it is part of the blade whatever it is it does go in one way you'll notice once you place it in there'll be a gap um but if you turn it on the other side it will be smooth and there'll be no gap as you'll see in a few seconds also this gold bit was a nightmare to actually design trying to fit it around smoothly was a bit of a headache but i got it in the end and this is what i mean this side look there's a gap there put on the other side it's solid there's no gap so just make sure you pay attention when gluing it permanently but with that being said and done i'll leave you the rest of the video and i'll catch up with you in a minute Now the lighting has changed because I'm doing it at night time I'm using my lamps but yeah I had to reprint the helmet and split it in half and yeah just to make it fit. Now to put it together um, before you put the handle in the head you've got to put in this neck piece I guess what we call it and it lines up perfectly so the top tiger stripe lines up perfectly with that line there at the back and it was slot in. Head goes in next and then you slide in your handle put a bit of glue and you're good to go. Um, yeah, that was a design for my part. Um, yeah, I had to reprint it, but luckily I did it. And I also sort of decided to keep it with a duller silver. I was going to use a nice silk, shiny silver, but I thought the blade, the handle is all really shiny. And I think the helmet just needs to stand out a bit more. So I did a different color. That's my choice of reasons if anyone's wondering. But yeah, other than that, this came out absolutely fine. Um, also, there'll be links in the description if you want to check out my Colts, my Fangs, and my Patreon where you can download this model. Um, also, if you're joining memberships for even one of those certain pages, we can sell my scalable prints, like I said before. And I'll also put in links down below for my Etsy page. So if you don't have a 3D printer or you can't bother to print it yourself, you can buy the finished model and like i said now just adding a bit of glue make sure you put quite a bit not too much so it over leaks but enough to keep together and there you go now i did a ams multi-material print for the side bits but in the file there is the individual parts so you, if you don't have a multi-material printer you can just print the gold and the black bits separately and screw it together and there we go the finished blade the white tiger sword looks absolutely amazing honestly I am so proud of this, but thank you once again for watching. I appreciate it with the love. And as always, it's time for the glamour shots. Let's go!